Have you ever wondered why you get sick from a cold or flu but then you get better after a few days? Within our bodies, an invisible battle is waged every day, a battle against microscopic invaders known as pathogens. These can be viruses, bacteria, or other harmful organisms that cause diseases. They are the unseen enemies, the culprits behind that sniffle, cough, or fever you might experience. These pathogens have one simple mission, to invade our bodies, multiply, and spread. They are opportunistic, always on the lookout for a chance to break through our defenses. But our bodies are not defenseless. We have a sophisticated system in place to fight off these tiny invaders, a system known as the immune response. Our immune system is like a highly trained army, constantly on guard and ready to protect us from these pathogenic invaders. When a pathogen enters our body, our immune system springs into action. It identifies the invaders, mounts an attack, and works tirelessly to eliminate them. This battle often leads to what we perceive as symptoms of illness, the fever, the cough, the fatigue. These are all signs that our body is fighting back, working overtime to keep us safe. But the immune response doesn't stop there. It is also hard at work even after the pathogen has been defeated, learning and adapting from each encounter. It keeps a memory of every pathogen it has fought. So if the same one dares to invade again, the immune system is prepared and can mount a quicker and more effective defense. So while we might wish to never fall ill, getting sick from time to time is a sign that our immune system is doing its job. It's a sign that our body is actively fighting to keep us healthy and safe from the myriad of pathogens we encounter in our daily lives. So, next time you catch a cold, remember there's an invisible battle happening inside your body. The sniffles, the coughs, the fevers, they're all signs of your body's remarkable defense system at work, tirelessly fighting to keep you healthy. So, what exactly is an infection? And how does it affect our bodies? An infection, in simple terms, is the invasion of our bodies by harmful microorganisms or germs such as bacteria, viruses, fungi, or parasites. These tiny invaders can enter our bodies in a multitude of ways. They might hitch a ride on the food we eat, the air we breathe, or even the surfaces we touch. In some cases, they could be transmitted through bites from insects or animals, or via contact with an infected person. Once these microorganisms find their way into our bodies, they begin to multiply and spread. They use our bodies as a host, taking up residence in our cells and tissues. They consume our nutrients and energy to grow and replicate, often causing damage in the process. Now you might be wondering, what happens when these invaders set up camp in our bodies? Well, the symptoms and effects of an infection can vary greatly depending on the type of microorganism and where in the body the infection occurs. You might experience a fever as your body turns up the heat in an attempt to kill the invaders. You could feel fatigue as your body diverts energy towards fighting off the infection. Other common symptoms might include coughing, sneezing, inflammation, pain, or even rashes. However, not all infections lead to noticeable symptoms. Some infections can silently lurk in our bodies, causing damage without us even realizing it. These are often referred to as silent or latent infections. Infections can also spread within the body. A local infection, such as a wound infection, can turn systemic, spreading through the blood or lymphatic system to affect the entire body. This can lead to severe illnesses like sepsis, which is a life-threatening condition. Infections are not just nuisances, they are serious business for our bodies. But don't worry, in our next segment we'll delve into the fascinating world of our body's defenses and how they work tirelessly to protect us from these microscopic threats. So stay tuned. Our bodies are not defenseless against these invaders though. We have a built-in army ready to fight off infections. Let's dive into the fascinating world of our immune system, the body's complex defense mechanism. It's like a well-organized army, equipped with different types of soldiers, each with unique skills and weapons. Each time an invader enters our body, whether it's a bacteria, virus, or any other foreign substance, these soldiers spring into action and work tirelessly to protect us. The immune system is composed of various components. The lymph nodes, spleen, bone marrow, and thymus are like the training grounds and headquarters. Here, immune cells are produced and prepared for battle. These cells, including white blood cells known as leukocytes, are the soldiers, ready to fight off any invaders. Let's break it down a bit further. The immune system has two primary defenses, the innate and adaptive immune systems. The innate immune system is our first line of defense. It's like the infantry, always ready to combat invaders. It includes physical barriers like our skin and mucous membranes, as well as immune cells like neutrophils and macrophages. 
But what if the invaders manage to bypass the innate system? That's when the adaptive immune system comes into play. It's like the special forces, customized and highly efficient. It includes cells like T and B lymphocytes, which remember previous invaders, helping to launch a faster and more effective response if the same invaders attack again. The coordination between these two systems is key to our body's defense. The innate system holds the fort until the adaptive system can mount a more targeted and effective attack, and if everything goes well, the invaders are defeated, and we recover. Our immune system is a complex and efficient defense mechanism, always ready to protect us. It's a marvel of nature, a testament to the body's ability to adapt and survive in a world full of potential threats. Our body's defense is indeed a fascinating world within us, working round the clock to keep us safe. But how does our immune system know when and how to fight off these infections? A great question, and one that involves a complex and fascinating process. Our immune system is a marvel of nature, a well-oiled machine that's always on guard, always ready. It's like an army with different units assigned to specific tasks. And the foot soldiers in this fight? There are white blood cells. There are several types of white blood cells, each with a unique role in defending our body. Neutrophils, for instance, are the most common type, and they're often the first responders to an infection. They're like the infantry, rushing to the front lines at the first sign of trouble. Then we have lymphocytes, including B cells and T cells. B cells are like our body's intelligence unit. They recognize the unique markers or antigens on the surface of pathogens. Once they've identified an enemy, B cells produce antibodies, which are like wanted posters that help other immune cells recognize and target the invaders. T-cells, on the other hand, are like special ops. Some T-cells help coordinate the immune response, while others, known as killer T-cells, directly attack infected cells. Our immune system also includes a sort of memory unit. Some B-cells and T-cells become memory cells after an infection. These cells remember the specific antigens of the pathogen, allowing our immune system to respond more quickly and effectively if the same pathogen tries to invade again. It's like our body keeps a record of past battles to better prepare for future ones. Of course, our immune response is more than just white blood cells. It includes physical barriers like our skin and mucous membranes, chemicals in our blood, and beneficial bacteria in our gut. It's a complex network that works together to protect us from infections. And that's the beauty of our immune system. It's not just one thing. It's an intricate dance, a symphony of components working in harmony. Each part plays a role, and together, they form an impressive defense network. It's a well-coordinated effort that keeps us healthy, and understanding how it works can give us a greater appreciation for the amazing things our bodies do every day to keep us safe. Can we strengthen our immune system to better fight off infections? This question brings us to the heart of our topic today, vaccines and exposure. Let's start with the very concept of immunity. Immunity is our body's way of remembering how to defeat a pathogen like a virus or bacteria that it has previously encountered. This is a remarkable characteristic of our immune system. There are two types of immunity, natural and acquired. Natural immunity comes from our innate immune system, the one we're born with. It's a general defense system that treats all pathogens alike, with no special treatment for repeat offenders. On the other hand, acquired immunity is like a customized defense plan against specific pathogens. It develops as we encounter and fight off various diseases throughout our life. Now let's talk about vaccines. A vaccine is essentially a training session for the immune system. It's like a sneak peek at the enemy before the actual battle. Vaccines carry harmless parts of a pathogen or a weakened or dead version of it. When we get vaccinated, our immune system learns how to recognize and fight off the actual pathogen without us having to suffer through the disease. It's a brilliant way of building our acquired immunity. Exposure to pathogens also plays a significant role in building our natural immunity. It's a bit like learning to swim by jumping into the deep end. When we're exposed to pathogens, our immune system has to figure out how to fight them off. This can be a tough process, but it helps build a stronger, more resilient immune system. So in essence, vaccines and exposure work together to strengthen our immune system. Vaccines help us prepare for future battles by teaching our immune system what to expect, while exposure to pathogens trains our immune system to respond quickly and effectively. Building immunity is like preparing our body's defense for future battles. So let's keep our defenses strong and remember, every battle won is a step towards a healthier life. But can our immune system go overboard? Can it become too aggressive? Well, the answer is yes. In some cases, our immune system can indeed turn against us. This phenomenon is known as autoimmunity. 
a state where the immune system mistakenly perceives some of our body's own cells as foreign invaders. Think of it as a case of mistaken identity, with serious consequences. In a healthy body, the immune system plays the essential role of a vigilante, keeping a close watch and eliminating any foreign intruders that could possibly harm us. But in the case of autoimmunity, this vigilante confuses friend for foe and starts attacking the body's own cells. Autoimmune diseases are a group of disorders that occur when this happens. They include conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, where the immune system attacks the joints, type 1 diabetes, where it targets the insulin-producing cells in the pancreas, and multiple sclerosis, where it damages the protective coating of nerve cells. Why does this happen? Well, the exact cause is still unclear. It's believed to involve a combination of genetic and environmental factors. For instance, certain genes might predispose someone to autoimmune reactions, and certain triggers like infections or exposure to toxins might set off the reaction. But here's an important point. As much as our immune system can become too aggressive, it's also capable of being not aggressive enough. In some situations, our immune system might not respond strongly enough to an infection, leading to chronic or severe illnesses. So what we need is a balance. A balance between an immune system that's strong enough to protect us from external threats, but not so strong that it turns against us. This balance is maintained through various complex mechanisms within our body. When these mechanisms are disrupted, that's when problems can arise. So, in essence, our immune system is a double-edged sword. It defends us from infections and diseases, but when misdirected, it can cause harm. It's a delicate balance that underscores the complexity and wonder of the human body. A balanced immune response is key to our overall health. You've probably heard of ways to boost your immune system, but what works and what doesn't? Let's dive into some common myths and realities about boosting immunity. First up, the myth that loading up on vitamin C can prevent colds. The reality? While vitamin C is crucial for a healthy immune system, it's not a silver bullet against colds. In fact, research shows that for the general population, taking vitamin C doesn't reduce the risk of getting a cold. Next, you might have heard that superfoods like goji berries or acai can supercharge your immune system. But the truth is, there's no single food that can bolster your immunity on its own. A balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats is the real key to keeping your immune system in top form. Then there's the myth that exercise wears down your immune system. The reality is quite the opposite. Regular, moderate exercise can actually boost your immune response, helping your body fight off infections. Now let's talk about the myth that says you can catch a cold from cold weather. While colds are more common in colder months, it's not the cold weather itself that makes you sick. It's the fact that we tend to stay indoors more, in close contact with others who may be carrying viruses. Lastly, the myth that says taking antibiotics can boost your immunity. Antibiotics are designed to kill bacteria, not viruses. Overuse of antibiotics can actually weaken your immune system by killing beneficial bacteria in your gut. So, what's the reality? Boosting immunity is about maintaining a healthy lifestyle. It's about eating a balanced diet, exercising regularly, getting enough sleep, managing stress, and practicing good hygiene. In a nutshell, there's no magic pill or quick fix to boost your immune system. It's a lifelong commitment to good health habits. And remember, if you're concerned about your immune health, it's always best to consult with a healthcare professional. Boosting immunity is more about maintaining a healthy lifestyle than taking a magic pill. Infections and immunity are a crucial part of our lives. They affect us more than we realize. We've journeyed through the invisible battle within us, understanding how infections invade our bodies and how our immune system rises to the challenge. It's a complex dance of attack and defense that's happening constantly, silently. We've delved into the workings of our immunity, the role of vaccines and exposure, and the delicate balance between immunity and autoimmunity. We've busted myths and faced realities, all in an effort to comprehend these vital aspects of our health. And why is it important to understand all of this? Because knowledge is power. Knowing how your body fights infections empowers you to make informed decisions about your health. It helps you appreciate the marvel of your body and its intricate defense mechanisms. So the next time you get sick, remember, your body is fighting for you. It's an invisible battle, but one we're equipped to win.